um, I saw I've been um, migrating from um, my local development from um, up, um, AMPS, which is a bit like um, WAMP or MAMP, uh, to uh, Vagrant. And I develop in essentially WordPress all the time. And I've been using this as a box, uh, VVV, which is um, pretty handy for uh, WordPress, for install WordPress. It, it, it's um, a box, it gives um, all, all this stuff is, is built in. It, it runs on Nginx. There's an Apache version as well. And it installs um, just a number of, of WordPress installations. Um, so what I wanted to do was, it, it, it by default, it would, um, if I just uh, click these, uh, it, it's, this is what I, I, I've already um, installed Vagrant and um, installed uh, VirtualBox and um, I've actually run this. So to get to this point, it's pretty simple. Installing Vagrant and VirtualBox is pretty straightforward and there's a lot of documentation on that. And um, to to get this to get this box up and running, I'll explain it in a minute. But um, basically, what what that what that gets me to is this: I've I've got this whole kind of a home page that they give you, and then I've got these um, three installs, four installs of WordPress. Um, so I I haven't installed those; I've, they're just ready to install now if I wanted it. But um, what I wanted to do is to like those are. Um, you know, there. This, this this one here is the the, the, the stable one, and there's uh, other versions here for development. But um, I just wanted to be able to install another um, just a regular install of WordPress alongside those. So um, uh, how how I got to this installed the first first place? All I did was I cloned it um, into um, into this directory here on, on Windows and I cloned it in here and I um, I would have at that point then um, opened the command window and typed vagrant up and that uh, took you know 20 minutes half an hour and um, that's already been done at this point so to um, to get uh, another install what I've got is, this is my www folder and I've put a WordPress um, download here. So I'm just going to extract that, it's just straight off the WordPress site. Um, So um, you could call this anything you want. Um, the convention on so this is my WordPress install. It's it hasn't got a Word a WP config in it. It's just come from this site over. I could have copied one of the other ones if I wanted and delete the WP config file. But um, so I'm going to name it something. Um, I, I the the convention I'm going to use is um, you know my new domain dot dev okay so sorry, I think and um, so that's my um, install or it's my, you know it's my directory so uh, back to the VVV directory into config and into nginx config into sites what I want to do is I want to um, I, I'm going to just copy this because it's a bit easier but this is the one you'd copy actually I'll just copy this one um, okay, so um, I want to rename that um, to suit my uh, same as my domain. Uh, the folder doesn't have to be called um, what I call it. It could be called anything. It's just the, the system that I'm using. I want to delete the dash sample at the end. So um, this is... Um, my, my new domain dot dev dot dot conf. So I'm gonna open that in Sublime, and um, where I have to change is um, here. I asked this has to be my new domain, 
and uh, this is the name of the folder. I've just named it the same as the domain. It doesn't uh, have to be called that, I don't think. And, uh, oops, should voice rhyme. So, um, next, um, as it explains up here, you have to re restart um, Nginx or, um, or Vagrant provision. Um, this didn't work for me for some reason. I only tried it once, so I'm just going to reprovision it. It takes a lot longer, but uh, it just not work. So, I'm just going to um, Vagrant provision. So. Uh, vagrant provision and uh, that's that so um, the other thing I need to do is I need to uh, sort out the host file so uh, if I open my host file which is in in Windows it's uh, it's in Windows system 32 drivers etc hosts and um, I, I can just th this um, this stuff comes from um, uh, the host updater, I think. Um, put that in there. Um, otherwise, I would have had to put it in manually. But um, uh, and the IP can be changed if you're running um, different boxes. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna leave it at the default, and um, I'm just gonna copy this and put my domain uh, in here my new uh, domain so save that and um, so uh, if I just uh, look back at this this is going to take some time so I'm just going to pause the video and come back Uh, okay, so that's um, that's been reprovisioned. So if I um, if I go to my domain now, uh, this should take me to my new WordPress install, and um, I can just press continue. Let's go. I can't uh, go any further because the database is not set up. So um, the um, this uh, is very handy because it, it gives me a link to my PHP my admin. And um, what I can do, what the way I do it, the you know the um, documentation shows you the way of doing it. But um, what I do is I just uh, go to users, uh, add a new user, and um, um, I just type uh, my new domain here. There, I'm not paying any attention whatsoever to, to security because I'm on my own computer. No one else has access to this, and uh, uh, it's up to you. I don't think there's any security concerns in my case, but obviously you want to um, take steps yourself. Uh, this is localhost. I'm just gonna set the password to be the same as um, this for ease of use. Then this I, I just uh, click this uh, create database the same username or the same name as the user and for privileges. So I've got my new database up here. So I can go back in here and I can fill this in. Same for all three local hosts. Uh, not changing the prefix on the install. And it's um, Standard WordPress stuff here. And uh, I can log in. So, my new domain.dev and I'm logged in. Okay.